Kauna, a Hmong Cinderella story. Once upon a time, there lived an orphan girl named Kauna. She lived with her stepmother and her stepsister named Kaunjo. Every day, Kauna cooked, cleaned, and did all the chores while her stepsister slept. Kauna had a good heart and never complained about helping out. Kauna always tried her best to not wake up Kaunjo, but the smell of the delicious food woke her up. Kaunjo had a mean heart and was very upset with Kauna. You are purposely cooking to bother me. I am going to tell mother. Her stepmother was never on Kauna's side and that made Kauna very sad. But she was thankful for all that her stepmother had provided for her. So she loved her stepmother and her stepsister and treated them very well. One bright, beautiful early morning, they went to the pond. Kaunjo swam while Kauna refilled the water buckets. Kauna stepped back and accidentally tipped over one of the buckets. Her stepmother was very mad at her and yelled at her for being wasteful. Kauna cried and cried because they wouldn't let her sleep in the house that night. She had to go sleep at the garden. Kauna was scared and wouldn't go, but Kauna said she had to and wouldn't let her into the house. So Kauna decided to go to the garden and sleep at the house there. Morning came. Kauna was up early working at the garden while her stepmother and stepsister slept. Suddenly, a young handsome man approached her and said, Aren't you scared being out here by yourself? Kauna just left. He asked her for her name. But before Kauna could tell him her name, her stepmother suddenly appeared. Kauna was scared, so she decided to go back to work. Kauna's stepmother approached them and said to the young man, Please come to my house. She said to Kauna, Get back to work. So Kauna watched as the man of her dreams was taken away from her. Kauna's stepmother introduced the young man to Kaunjo. Kauna was hungry, so she decided to go home. But her stepmother yelled and yelled at her when she got home. The young man couldn't believe what he was seeing with his eyes. He told Kauna's stepmother that he was interested in Kaunjo and that he was not interested in Kauna so there was nothing to worry about. Kauna's heart was broken, but she was used to her heart being broken, so she quietly went inside. The next day, the young man came again. He really liked Kauna and wanted to get to know her. He said to her, I'm so sorry about yesterday. Please forgive me. Kauna replied. It's okay. I understand. Before they could even start a conversation, Kauna interrupted them. Kauna's stepmother told Kauna to go away and leave Kauna and the young man alone. It was getting pretty late, so the young man told Kaunjo that he was leaving. Kauna was again heartbroken. 
The day of the Hmong New Year finally came. Gao Zhuo got ready for it, but Gao Na wasn't allowed to go because she had nothing to wear. Gao Zhuo had an evil heart, so she purposely left her clothes on the floor and told Gao Na to come pick it up. Gao Na didn't mind because she had a sweet heart. Gao Na sat outside and watched Gao Zhuo and her mom go to the Hmong New Year. She decided to go sit at the garden. Her best friend came and gave her some Hmong clothes to wear to the Hmong New Year. She was so thankful she had such a great friend. When she looked in the mirror, she didn't believe how beautiful she was. She was finally ready and left for the Hmong New Year. It was a beautiful sight. Everyone was having so much fun. Gao Zhuo had a song that she was going to sing, so her and the young man took a break from ball tossing to watch her perform. All the young man could think about was Gao Na. Out of the blue from the corner of his eye, he saw a pretty girl sit down. He turned around and saw that it was Gao Na. Gao Na was enjoying herself and didn't even notice the young man until he called her over. He was so excited to see her, and they were having a great conversation. All of a sudden, Gao Zhuo interrupted them. She yelled at Gao Na and asked her why she was there. The young man didn't want any problems, so he told Gao Na to leave. When Gao Na got home, Gao Zhuo was so mean, she pushed Gao Na into the fire. They didn't even help her get out of the fire. Gao Na was burned severely all over her body and to her face. She cried and cried about it. She apologized to her stepmother, but her stepmother didn't even care and went inside. She looked at her face and was very sad at what she saw. The next day, the young man and his mom came to their house. They asked about Gao Na. The stepmother wanted the young man to marry her daughter, Gao Zhuo, but the young man said no and went to the garden to look for Gao Na. She was trying to hide her face. He looked at her and gave her a big hug and told her everything would be okay. He took her back to her house and told her stepmother that he was going to marry her and take her away. Gao Na said her goodbyes and thanked them for all that they gave her and left. Gao Na's stepmother was really upset with the whole situation and they lived miserable lives forever. Gao Na and the young man's love grew bigger every day and they lived happily ever after. It doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, pretty or ugly, what matters most in life is having a good heart.